from Indianapolis on uh, April 6th, 2024. This is the uh, Eclipse event. And this is game one between Large Porg and Apollo Chu. I am Johnny Chu, and I hear myself talking. So let me see if I can mute something. But I will be commentating with Jeremy DePaolo. Um, and Jeremy, I think, will be coming quite soon. Hey, one second. Um, this matchup looks like it is bringing before me. And uh, being played by Apollo against uh, possibly EBO. It's Hoth, careful planning start, played by Large Porg. It looks like um, a new secret base is on the virtual first marker, along with walkling and strike planning. And Apollo has, it looks like Phantom Menace, You Can Hide Forever combo, and I Am Your Father virtual. So it uh, looks like the game's uh, about to begin. Give me one second. Perfect. Thank you. All right. So, uh, looks like that game is about to begin. Yep. All right. They've been waiting for us, and uh, they got the green light to go. So, let's see uh, what happens with this match. So, Paulo's playing Bring It Before Me. He is uh, start, starting the Death Star 2 throne room along with slip sliding away for, it looks like, the West Gallery. I should know. Uh, but I uh, I don't help him with his decks anymore. He builds his own stuff. So it uh, looks like Apollo is uh, getting Carida. And then Large Porg, uh, his first action was to pull Don't Do That Again shield to suspend uh, my points combo. And it looks like he's all, Apollo is looking for something. Emperor's power. Very good. Okay. So this game is about to begin. Looks like Apollo is uh, activating his force. You see the uh, Porg on Large Porg's phone. That's very fitting. So Pow activated. He's playing. Uh, looks like it's the uh, the prison, the two O prison site on Cloud City. And uh, Emperor from hand. So it's going to cost the full five. And I'm assuming Emperor's power. There it is. So this bring before me deck, um, especially with the Phantom Menace start, and I am your father. It looks like it's going to be kind of like maybe your standard build. Get uh, some Vader out with a saber, maybe Big Maul, and uh, try to stack cards and do damage. Uh, probably uh, not a great matchup against the EBO. I would I would guess. Uh, Bring Before Me often plays a really light space package, one to three ships. I don't remember what Apollo is playing, to be totally honest. Uh, an EBO obviously can set up big drains in space. Uh, once he gets going, um, controlling three uh, echo sites, Large Porg will be able to play echo base operations and give, making all this deploy cheaper minus, by minus one for everything in space. And uh, all his fortunes will be plus two. So that might be really bad for Apollo. So this might be a quick game. 
Uh, but we will see. We'll see what happens. Borg is starting strike planning, so you would expect to see. Well, he pulled General Recon for sure. That's the power is reading. Um, maybe could be General Dodonavi and get getting a Y wing or uh, Whale Explicit's limiting destiny. Uh, and then possibly Endor system. The strike planning shuts down the activation, and I. I'm not sure, and then the new a new secret base could pull Endor, so I'm not sure. Uh, we'll see. Borg is uh, using a new secret base to get out the war room and the Echo corridor before he activates, or maybe he's doing it after he activates. Uh, but that's fine. Point the sights. Uh, to get his ships out cheap. So I think Apollo's best bet to win this game might be to get Vader out as soon as possible and to, to duel and start doing damage. The EBO has a problem of uh, putting a lot of cards on the table. It often is, is playing with like a, you know, 40 card deck just because you're playing so many cards um, to set it up. But modern EBO um, has an added benefit of being able to kind of like use the guys better. Um, I've seen versions of EBO with aliens and the ancient watering hole. Uh, I think Garrett played that at Worlds a couple years ago. Or Whale Explicitics limiting um, destinies is always really good. Uh, the Donnegan and the Y Wing. Um, I like running a version with Baragwins uh, and Ishi Tibbs just so I can keep using the cards. Otherwise, they're just kind of sitting there. Um, also versions that play matching pilots, and you, you flip with like Zev and uh, Javi playing a base garrison and then moving them out with speeders. So not sure. The strike planning is playing the generals. Like it's a it's connection's a little bit unstable, so we'll do the best that we can with this uh, internet connection that we have. Sorry if it's a little laggy on your end. So let's see what happens here. Let's see a Sith probe droid in Apollo's hand. So if he can, I don't know if Seven Triple Find Vader. But if he can get the Vader out, then he can pour it over to the Emperor with the Sith probe droid and then uh, start uh, dueling for three damage a turn. So it looks like Asajj. Asajj Ventress to the North Ridge. Asajj is not going to do that much. Maybe he just wants to get some damage going. I think it's really important for... Uh, ooh. Is that a monarch? Non uh, non combo monarch. Might have been better to wait for Porg to pull the EBO and the third site before playing the monarch. Uh, to set him back maybe a turn. Yeah, light side looks it like, looks like it looks like it's on EBO. I mean it. Starting a new secret base with generals, I would guess yes. Um, so I think the monarch is good. I think he he jumped the gun a little bit. Maybe had an opportunity to set Borg back a turn by uh, waiting for him to use the new secret base, and then um, maybe putting back the site, putting back the effect. I don't know if he is or not, Catwall. I'm sorry. Uh, question is, he's a he's a, in the chat. Ketwal assumes that Apollo's running much anger in him. Um, 
I don't remember. It looks like uh, Tor grabbed the Monarch. So the Grabber is used up. Uh, it looks like Apollo does have his Grabber pulled too, so that's that's good. Um, Yeah. He might be running that much anger at him. It's possible he runs the Maul's Infiltrator. That would make sense. The Cloak. That would be great just to block the damage. It's essentially, poking is lose two, but then you're blocking Jada three and having battle plan. Uh, we'll see if Apollo does have that. We'll see if uh, Porg has Obi-Wan Radiant 7 to prevent him from cloaking. That could be potentially really bad. All right, so there's Porg using a new secret base to pull the site and then Echo Base Garrison. Apollo is checking it out. Just probably making sure he can do it before, before activate. He's running the non-virtual Monarch, I'm assuming he's also going to be running Masterful Move, maybe a Gick. Uh, interesting. So, today we got... I think it's a pretty good turnout. 44 players for today's event. Uh, a lot of people have from kind of from all over. Greg Shaw and uh, the Seattle guys. Paulo Benji and I drove in from St. Louis this morning. It's a nice drive ahead of uh, Eclipse traffic, which I'm sure is going to be pretty awful on Monday. There's a uh, Porg playing Echo Base Garrison. Let's see, maybe he's using it or he's. Yeah, there he goes. He's going to use Walkling to pull Haven. So now making deploy minus two for all starships, um, wherever it goes. And if he can get EVO out this turn, he's also pulling Commander Wedge. Can't tell if it's virtual or not. Looks like it's maybe virtual. Commander Wedge in the speeder adds a uh, window of four strains, I believe. Uh, so expecting a speeder package, at least a minimal speeder package. So if he's playing speeders and he's playing kind of like ability two ships, so EBO often can go one of two routes. EBO can go like an X-Wing variant, maybe off of Incom Corporation, or um, I think more common these days you see there's so many virtual ships that play you know, uh, two ability pilot with some kind of capacity and add a destiny or, um, you know, the, the, the text on uh, the virtual ships is quite good. So often you see EBO play a spread of them, Red 8 and Tycho and Kelchu and um, Obi-Wan Radiant 7, stuff like that. Kind of the problem with that is you're playing a lot of um, inefficient ships in space. Um, and so you're just deploying more cards. So already you're playing cards to play EBO cards. Uh, in space that are pretty inefficient. And then if you're also playing speeders, Porg might have the problem of um, just putting too many cards on the table. So if Apollo could maybe do like 20 damage with your Destiny and Drains, could be bad. Um, here's Recon and Whale Explicix. Good at Apollo's reading Whale Explicix. I hope he reads it carefully because it'll come into play with regard to Emperor's power. If Apollo can, you know, lose force the Emperor's power to add destinies, but then the cards remain lost, even though Way with Explicit stops the multiple destinies. So um, it's a good uh it's a good anti uh bring before me. Probably not on purpose, but it functions well. Uh Commander Luke Skywalker, so he's playing the EBO this turn. Hey, what's up? Um, Can you hear me? Yeah, hey, what's up Jeremy? How are you? How's it going? Good, you? Pretty good, man. Sorry about that. Technical difficulties this morning. No, it's all good. Got to iron them out. Game one. <laughs> so, right, yeah. So just, got... Looks like the e EBO bring before me. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, it could be fast. Yeah. Let's see. Nice non-interactive game to start us off, huh? Oh, yeah. Totally. It looks like <laughs> uh, 
The only thing interesting so far this game is uh, Apollo played a Monarch and uh, just a used Monarch, which was grabbed. Um, that's basically it. So this is turn two, and uh, Porg has just put out EBO. Okay. I see that he played Luke to Hot. Did he play yeah. the Beer Grim Reformer Shield for Leia? You know, it's like the really shiny card at the top of the screen. Gotcha. Okay. And uh, he did. He used Walkling for Haven also. Okay. To pull Haven? To pull Haven, yep. So I think all the possible pulls right now. And he has the other, only other thing is Wedge. Commander Wedge um, is in his hand from Echo Base Garrison. And that's, that's that. Massage at the Asajj, yeah. fourth marker. Okay. Yep. And Large Pork gets Battle Plan out. So we'll see if Apollo pays or if he's going to yeah. use his force differently. Kind of hard to see his hand. At least before the last draw, I don't think he had any ships in his hand. He has a Vader. That's good. Okay. Vader to the Cloud City site. Yeah, that could work. And uh, I know he has a Sith Pro Droid in his hand as well. So he can okay. get some dueling going. Do you know at all, Jeremy, if Large Porg plays... Like, does he play, like, a spread of Ability 2 ships, or, I don't know, I guess, like, Profundity and the lar uh, Resistance Transport Package or anything? Do you, do you have any idea what he's running? So these days, I, I don't know. I don't know what's in EBO. Uh, my assumption is that it's probably a mix of Starfighters and Capitals. Yeah. Oh, so it looks like a verification... I guess the reason for large board playing this deck is because it's good against Thrawn. Okay. So I would assume there's a lot of sh stuff in there that's, you know, attacked for Thrawn. Sure. So in the verification, I saw a Colonel Jendon in shuttle in Apollo's deck. Can't remember what other space he plays. Maybe a Zuckus, maybe a Infiltrator. It's probably light. I think Brain Before Me tends not to play much space anyways. It's Kylo to back up Asajj. It's interesting. Okay, so looks like he's committing to spreading out on Hoth. Yeah. But he occupies for simple tricks, so that's that's okay well, right now. It's definitely a way to be EBO, but you just got to be really careful. Yeah. I think Apollo's, I think only experience with EBO, as far as I know, is um, watching like me and Benji play it in, in retro. So I don't know if he's going to try to cancel it. It's a slightly different environment than retro, so I don't know if that's the best strategy, but we'll, we'll see what he tries to do. Yeah, it gets really expensive. It does. <laughs> yeah. And we saw Commander Wedge, so we assume some kind of speeder package, and those EPPs don't have immunity, so they might not last very long. Yeah. Well, maybe he'll get the stack of card. Okay. Yeah, I assume Large Fork is also playing capital support, or not. What's the one that doesn't let you draw more than one at sites? Is yeah, that that's support? combined fleet action. Combined fleet action, yes. Yeah. So that'll be really rough for Apollo. He's going to try to clear out these speeders. Yeah. Is that Endor system? Yeah. Looks like he's pulled Endor. So it gives no icons for the dark side. Is there a shield that restores those icons? Uh, or is yeah, it just... I think so. Okay, I don't remember. Here, I'll pull up my reference. So EBO is in its kind of like, it usually stalls in the sense that it, it doesn't do much but set up EBO the first two turns, and then it kind of explodes later on. So this is turn three. We're going to want to see some kind of pressure from uh, Large Porg. Otherwise, Apollo's Your Destiny and all the little things he's going to do will start to kick in. Yeah, Crossfire V, Defensive Shield does. 
prevent your activate preventer activation from being canceled at indoor. Gotcha. I'm yeah, sometimes with EBO though, like you just don't draw enough ships and you kind of have to draw for them and being a turn slow against a deck like Ring before me can sometimes be detrimental. Yeah. Looks like he's using Commander Loop to pull Rogue 3. Matching uh, Speeder for Wedge. Oh, and he does have Echo Base Garrison, too. He does, so mm -hmm. Lesson 6. Although, if he doesn't have the Combined Fleet Action this turn, I mean, you can crack that pretty easily if he draws luckily, if he draws okay. Pulling what starting play. effects did Apollo play? He's playing uh, Phantom Menace. Uh, you can add Forever, which is suspended right now. Oh, and nice. uh, I am your father. So it doesn't look okay. like he pulled the Saber. He probably tried to last turn. Maybe that was why he gave him the Verify. Right now, yeah, I mean, Paul's not doing any damage. I mean, your Destiny is good. Um, but he has to pay the drain for one they hit it all the way back it's never a, never a good thing <laughs> yeah you gotta assume that large pork is just gonna deploy leia this turn yeah if you but remember like, we'll see if he remembers yeah it's possible she's active it's true he activates quite a bit of force looks like he has it um could be worse looks like that's his whiteboard card in his hand okay yep it's, po it's possible Paul will remember your destiny too. We'll see. What happens at the beginning of the turn. Yeah, Paul is. Uh, he doesn't play much, but when he plays, it's it's always on Jimp, which makes a lot of sense because you got the unlimited card pool and stuff. But Jimp automates a lot of things, and so let's see how much of it he remembers. I have the opposite problem. <laughs> I'm a much better player in person than I am on Gimp. Oh yeah, even with the cards being highlighted. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I try to tell my kids to turn off the highlighting thing just to, you know, so they can remember. But it's like, I I, I wouldn't do it myself. It's such a good uh helper. It's like having a assistant reminding you to do stuff. All right. Okay, so Wedge's Cedar comes down, gets a Sage. Commander Wedge adds the Force Drain. Does he cancel a? He cancels a second Destiny too. Is that what he does? Yeah. Ooh, and there's Dash Friend RV. Okay. It's really good against EPPs. Yeah. Paul's looking at a stunning leader, but that's not going to come into play. Right now. Yeah, luck luckily for Apollo, this is not like he probably won't take a lot of damage. But no. you gotta assume Asash is dead here and Yeah. Large Park probably won't lose anything. Right. He could blind draw. He has to draw six, seven. Seven well, would Dash, be good. Dash is gonna make that difficult. Oh, that's true. Yeah. All right, so it looks like you paid one to battle. Yeah. No, no Leia. No Leia. I guess, I guess he's planning on using it could be worse on your destiny. Yeah, looks like it. Okay, so Apollo is adding. I'm not sure if you want to add here. Yeah. Well, he we got rid of a maw. Maybe it'll end up being a good thing, on a purpose. So that's. Uh, Leia's Resistance Transport, so that's one of three. Yep. And Wedge, does Wedge say he can cancel either one, or just the second one? I think you have to draw more than one, and then he can cancel. Okay, so the six, let's see if Dash, I don't know, it's probably not drawing a zero, because anything's possible. Should go a five, all right. So that reduces that mass roll move to a one. So power is going to be power, what's the Saja, five or four? 
Power six. Yeah. To power okay. nine, twelve. I don't 12? know if. I don't think that Large Pork remembered Wedge's game text because he just lost Rendar, Dash Rendar. Right. Or it could be Scarson. Yeah, either or. <laughs> yeah. To me, it looked like he didn't cancel one because Paula right. did put one back. But in that case, Apollo didn't stack. Lots going on. We'll see. But I don't know what that five was. That five. I think that so, was that. I think you're right about that. that was dash. So that's so. Apollo had an eight minus five. So yeah, I mean, it's all good. They're playing off of immune less than three. So so Apollo just must have soul read him that he wasn't going to use wedge. Right. <laughs> yeah, you could tell. Look, this guy's right. not going to remember Wedge. Let's see if Apollo remembers your destiny. Still no ships for Large Borg, though. No ships. Oh, no, and he just peels three to your destiny. Okay. Trans Hera? It looks like Hera, Transmission Trans Terminated V, and something else. Perimeter scan? Yeah, perimeter scan. Yeah, it should be even less than six from the, the garrison. So that should have just been... I mean, that's a huge... I mean, losing Dash and burying him is pretty huge, potentially, in this game. Yeah. Because you could make... probably set up a beatdown on Kylo. Yeah, and maybe um, if Large Porg is playing off of me less than three, maybe he never moves it out and he's paying, paying all game. For battle plan, we'll, we'll see. Okay. Paulo got the 2-2 out. Oh, that's good. Okay. Now that um, Large Borg has committed both of his his good dudes on speeders to Hoth. So you have Apollo isn't pulling the saber. Is that Arca? Arca V? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. That's good. So he'll be getting retrieval off of that? Possibly? Yeah. You know, I kind of like Apollo's um, position here, honestly. Yeah. I feel like he's way ahead. If he can find a ship, stay alive. Yeah, find his gig and then just throw some, something up in space. Yeah, load it with forfeit. There's a, a path. And it, yeah. It's, large Porg might have just been better off last turn just... If you grab the Monarch, you figure Apollo's not going to put two. Maybe you draw for some space instead of uh, blow in a turn. Okay, he plays the probe droid to the throne room. I don't... Doesn't he have to be with Vader to move him? I think he does. I don't remember. Oh, no. Okay. Is it right? He's right, yeah. Okay. It's to the same site. Okay. He's drawing, gets another probe droid. Still no space, I don't think, in Apollo's hand. I could be wrong. I think he has a Sith infiltrator in his hand. Oh, that's good. But maybe no maul? Or maybe he just doesn't feel comfortable going to space yet? Yeah. He top decked one maul. He probably plays three. There's a Leia in there, Le Le Rebel Princess, I think, in Porg's deck. Yeah, we'll see if he plays her this turn. Yep. So it looks like he was searching for something with Echo Base Garrison. Yeah. Did he activate it already? He hasn't, right? I don't think so. Uh, first turn he activated before he pulled with Echo Base Garrison. But he didn't the second turn, so I'm, I'm not sure. So if he hasn't activated, this might have been a slight mistake on his part. Right. Assuming that he used all that force to get Leia back in his reserve deck. 
Oh, no, he did activate. Okay, here's Leia. Okay. Yep. Okay. All right, so yeah, Apollo flips. Yep. So that all. I, I mean, I think this is. I think this is really good for Apollo. Yeah, EBO, the destinies can be suspect sometimes, depending on the space package. So the duel should be in Apollo's favor. I think he plays a lot of high destiny. Yeah. And he's already set up to do it with a pro droid. Yep. Be pork saving the. It could be worse for dual destiny or for dual damage. He probably just felt like he had to draw for space last turn. Yeah. Okay. Here's Haven. Some ship. What is that? Red eight. Red eight. Yeah. It's a defensive shield. Okay. Let's see if he has any backup. Spiral. He's uh, in the the A wing. Yeah. Green leader. So he'll get three destinies. If Apollo fights him there, possibly. Yeah, one from Haven. Uh, one from the A wing being with the stub fighter. Yeah. 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 Porg needs to set up some steady damage, and Apollo can pull resistance. Possibly, he has, looks like he only has one shield out. I don't know what the, what other shields he needs for this matchup. He probably wants that crossfire V. Yeah, I, he might not know yeah. about the text, to be honest. Can you tell what that guy is that uh, Borg just played? On no, I speaker? couldn't tell. Do so you want to know what, anyone chat, know what guy Large Borg just played to the speeder? It's, it's so you got to assume that Apollo is not playing like something special, right? I don't, I don't know if he plays an extra grabber. Yeah, it's kind of brutal. <laughs> yeah, That's where he'd really want it in this matchup. I might go walk over to the table and see what he has. In there. <laughs> They're all. Oh, and the force is with you. Okay. All right. Looks like it's a uh, General Aaron Kraken on the speeder. Okay. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> Thank you, Borg. Appreciate it. Yeah. I mean this. This looks good for Apollo because he could just play resistance to cap yeah. the drain at hot. Yep. March Borg still has to pay for drains. He's only threatening essentially two damage at Hoth <laughs> that he has to pay for. <laughs> Apollo's destinies are pretty bad. 4 3 1. It's still probably better than EBS. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so there's a control tunnel vision to cancel that, the drain. That's good. Two, I'm assuming. Yep. See if he drains again. Yep. Those are, could be worse. See if that gets grabbed. I think you got to. Yeah, I think so too. I was checking his force. It's the right thing to do. See if he has the. So no grab. No grab. Retrieve with air. Retrieve, yep. I don't think Porg is a way to cycle it. Sec prick, okay. Get some extra force. Ooh. One thing, uh, one thing you learn about playing against EVO is you never want to attack the Hoth system. Yeah. Well, I might learn that this game. <laughs> I think he's probably forgetting about Whale Explicits too. Yeah. Yes, but I don't know if he knows about the power bonus. I mean, he, I think he read the card, but. Also, just all of the reacting ships. Like, yep. we know he has Spiral in hand, so he's going to be able to draw Destiny here. Yep. Well, Kenny, he needs six. 
He's going to outpower him for sure. Like it's better just to keep your ship alive and get free drains. Yep. I think Apollo has an attack mentality. So this is this deck is good for him because typically you can do that, but you're totally right right now. You're right that I think the board state favors him. So if he just maintains it. Yeah, if he just went to Karina or Indoor. Yeah, he'd be good. Just make large four commit to attacking him, then that's a lot of it's a lot of force when you have to go somewhere other than Hoth. Yep. To attack your opponent's space, so away from Haven. Yeah. But here you're just playing right into it. EBO's hands, basically. Right now, Porg has what seven, eight, nine, ten power. Oh no. Plus no a spiral in hand, so that's another seven right. power. Doesn't look like spirals coming out. A little surprising. Yeah, you can afford it, right? Is yeah, it's cost free? one. Is it free? It's the point mine. Yeah, it's free. And he doesn't have a miracle destiny in hand. Yeah, so Paul forgot about Wayward's Ballistic. So he he lost his highest destiny in his deck to Emperor's Power. So the best he can do now is drain, draw. Oh, it looks like Porg is letting him take it back. That's really nice. That's good. Yeah, because he had a 4 3 1. So would have been bad. That's a, a nice play with Porg. So what, why did... So Pork can draw Destinies. Like, this should be a zero. Yeah, it gets reset to zero. Yeah, why did so he it's not gonna react be... with Spiral? <laughs> I don't know. Spiral wouldn't have given him enough ability, but the power. Yeah. Power's good. So 7, 10 to 8. So Paul has to appeal 2 to his own battle. Yeah, I mean, you gotta just peel and run, right? I mean, that's the... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's, like, tempting. Tempting to go try to fight. I mean, it's two scrubby ships. Okay, so it looks like he is peeling the two. Okay. Can't tell what that is. Shiny sleeve. Red so card. A, a Sith Pro Droid on top? Yep, that's right. It looks like... Was that three damage? Is it? And it looks like Porg lost. Oh, he's staying at Hoth. Oh, oh. <laughs> he's gonna learn the hard way, and he didn't. He didn't <laughs> move Vader over to duel. So no. he's just gonna take the drain of three, drain of two instead. Well, he's not gonna drain, right? Oh, you mean he's gonna like take yeah, just drain draining just... over dueling? Yeah, yeah. I don't know if he lost to his objective. He doesn't because of the Leia shield. Oh, yeah, okay. So Eric is just a net retrieval. Interesting. Yeah. And Porg uses Walkwing to retrieve something. Yeah. Looked like a red card. No, it was was it the A-Wing? Yeah. Probably the A-Wing. So he just lost the A-Wing, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure about leaving Zuckus, so we'll, we'll see if uh, Porg can make him pay for that. We'll see, I don't see a lot of space in his hand. I mean, I I know he has Spiral, but right, if he has like Honchu Falcon near, that's gonna be really bad. Yeah, it looks like yeah, here's another Luke. The problem also with that play for Apollo is that it it forces Porg to do the right thing. Like you yeah. always want to put your opponent in a position where he um, makes a subpar move. So in this case, it's a uh, Cali or something. Yeah, Tadalintra and Blue Eleven or something like that. Yeah, something like that. And is that 
I can't see what what ship was that that he just played. Is it Profundity? I'm not sure. So Larchborg explaining to him that these ships cost next to nothing. Yeah. I was learning that's... on the fly. <laughs> I think that's Trial by fire. That is the profundity. It looks like yeah. it. Ooh, and then... I think he has Poe. Poe. Yeah. Yeah. Was he have a Poe as a gick? So it looks right. like Apollo might have been killed in space, anyways. But then it's gonna it would it's saving him a lot of force. Oh yeah, he's giving Porg another half turn for free. Yeah, Porg would have spent a bunch of force to to kill Zuckus. Yeah. Another A wing. Yeah, so this is what four destiny now. Yeah, and a ray. Oh, so ray got the A wing. Yeah. Maybe. So one, two. Four destiny and a gazillion four. power. Yeah. Maybe as a, I think the gig was, in his deck last time. Oof. Could be wrong. He still has Spiral on his hand? He does, yeah. Maybe that's far maybe not playing Spiral is a good play on Large Fork's part. Yeah. <laughs> to set up the speed down. Yep, there are the four destiny. Bunch of twos and threes, looks like. Okay, so Paul did have the gex, so that's at least that's a tempo positive play. Yeah, did Apollo draw Destiny? I don't think so. <laughs> Bandon chip. Oh, there it is. Okay, so we did draw. Okay. Okay, three. So he's got a one on top. Red 8 has uh, served its purpose. It's now dead. Yeah, but like you said, if Apollo had just moved over to Endor, right. so that, I mean, this, the same thing force. would have happened, but yeah, there would have been a lot less cards on table for large Porg. Yeah, and Porg would have a small hand if you're playing with a three-card hand right now. Yeah. So Luke is coming over, get on the X, the, the speeder. Leave in. Okay, well, I guess he draws on his own, right? The general? Yeah, Kraken. I think so. Yep, and Reed kind of makes him move for free. Is that right? Yep. Oh, yeah, the guys in the war room to add power to... Yep. Uh, I don't think Waylitz is a leader. Could be wrong. Oh, yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> the general in name only newly promoted like a junior partner yeah four gets to replenish three cards looks like he only had three so he would have wouldn't have mattered but he would have been playing one ship less maybe one ship fewer in space but maybe that's a good thing for Paul in the long run we'll see we'll see yeah did he do the your destiny damage uh no he doesn't have to sorry yeah the problem for Apollo now is he's not going to be able to set up resistance anymore. No. Unless he finds another ship, I guess. But Yeah. It's got the maybe infiltrator, maybe. That. Yeah. Looks like three guys. Maul, Maul, Forlom. Probably which is all those cards were in his hand.
he took out the accelerates so he uh so I could play them in my Java in my Java Cup deck tomorrow. So he's playing Sonics instead. But the, it works for the downtown plaza. What are you playing in Java tomorrow? Can you uh, say outscreen? I'm playing Watto. It's just a fun Ooh, deck. I played nice. it in uh the Jawa tournament on Jemp and it was it's just really fun and the games take like fifteen minutes, which is great. <laughs> It's great when you're old and you can't think anymore. Yeah, I got to maximize your time. <laughs> totally. All right. So looks like he retrieved, possibly, with uh, Erica. Panda Drain. Okay. PO in two fives. Is that you? I think that was New Cut Ray, but I could be wrong. So it looks like okay. he's planning on moving Vader over this turn. Okay. Was there only a, one drain? Or did I miss the other one? I couldn't quite tell if he if he yeah. trained once or twice. It's really important against EBO just to to keep pumping the damage because he's playing with such a a slim deck to begin with since he's deployed like so many cards on the table already. Yeah. And I think what moving Ky this Kylo moving to the two O. So take an extra force, I think. Yeah, two force. Okay, so Vader goes to the throne room with Leia. Yep. It, when does the dueling happen? You just do it anytime. I think it's any time. Yeah, I mean, Paul is a three-one-one. So. So I'm beating down for like twenty-nine force loss. I wish we could record that. Were you playing later, Dirk? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Benji won his game. Uh, okay, so where are we? So he's ported over. He can't really duel. I guess he could. Doesn't lose. Doesn't lose anything for doing. Besides his, he'll lose some face. All right. One one. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, guess see if it's converted. <laughs> Not yet. Nope. <laughs> Dramatic. Is he not moving, Kylo? I don't know if we've reached that point yet. Yeah. So those those should be in a use pile, I guess. And maybe he moves over he takes over the two O, it's not the worst thing. It's a good drain. A stack a card with Kraken, maybe. Okay, there were so three he ships. Play. He did, okay. There's three ships in space, so he's power six. Gets two destinies. Uh, you could assume he would stack. But if I was taking a drain of five, unless he plays resistance. Yeah, I don't think Large Porg has any incentive to battle because he can just react if. Right. Paul totally. over battles. Wouldn't it be the worst. I guess he only has the one gig. So I was going to say it pulls him off of the site, makes him pay to drain. Some point later in the game, it might be decent. But I don't remember reacting rules. You can disembark before you react, or is it only embark? I can't remember. That's a good question. I know you can embark for sure. I don't know if you can disembark. Yeah, I don't think you can. If you can, then that would make sense. You leave a guy for the battle plan, obviously. Oh, yeah, you're right. He's off the battleground. Good point. Jets are dim. So he's just taking the Jane of Five this turn. Oh, has a little bit more card economy, but not that much more. Can't take a Jane of Five for too long. He's got to get his space out. 
I think that's his uh his narrow path right now it would be trying to get force push, trying to get a Colonel Jendon with forfeit. The Maul's infiltrator would be ideal. But the Mauls are in his deck. I don't think he plays more than three. He lost one already, and there are two that he just drew for Destiny, so He's got a huge hand. <laughs> a big hand, but no, I don't see force push. I see I know he has a you are beaten. He's got a bunch of guys. Probably a lot of anti main stuff. Yeah. Hopefully he'll uh, peel some of it. Looking around, it looks like about over half the games are done in the room. About two thirds of the games are done. What do you think about the meta right now, Johnny? What do you What do you think is popular, or what's going to be popular soon? I'm not the one to ask. I don't really know. Yeah, how about you? What do you think? What's good? What do you expect to see a lot of today? I'm not sure I'm the right person to ask either, but I'm assuming that Braun will be really popular and Hitko. And Hitko, then yeah. maybe a lot of anti Thrawn decks like Zero Hour and Echo Base Garrison. Or Echo Thrawn Base. is like pretty autoplay. Like it's a. Uh, I ran up against some Thrawn in um, the uh, Jawa Jemp event and. Uh, yeah, it's pretty impressive. It can get some good power on the ground as well as space. So. Yeah. I can't say I love that it just auto-pulls. I was telling Ryan Jellison this at Worlds that, um, in my opinion, taking Throne Room out of the meta uh, was a mistake just because Dark Side can do anything with impunity because it knows it'll go first. Like It can count on Carita. It can count on a lot of stuff like Thrawn. You know, like... Um, not that throne. I don't want. I don't think throne should be, you know, the best deck necessarily. But having it viable, I think, keeps some balance in the game. Just because going first, Dark Side always has this huge advantage. So it looks like Grappling Hook is out. It looks like I missed um, Gold Leader and Gold One Virtual is out, and Anchui Falcon. So it's going to be a lot of um, a big power bonus on the ground this turn if uh, Apollo fights Kylo. Looks like he shuttled Ray down. So it looks like Porg just took the turn to consolidate a little bit. Yeah, uh, I feel like he should move his ships out. At least Andre so Falcon. Too. He's being really conservative right now. I mean, he still has a spiral. Yeah, true. And he deployed Tycho. He could have been reacted with. Is that Tycho in Green Squadron One, underneath Gold Leader? Yes. Yeah. So he could have he could have saved Spiral and Tycho elsewhere and react in the uh, spread out pretty safely. I think. Yeah, I don't and, think you're in any danger of getting beaten down in space. No. It's possible he still does it, I guess. Maybe he's just deploying to yeah, the cheap. Because Lord Maul and Ship is not quite as scary when he's not getting too Destiny. Yeah, especially when he's being drawn for dual Destiny. All right, so Porg is threatening a drain of eight. But it it doesn't it's hard to tell. It doesn't look like there's that much in life force for Porg. Which would be typical for EBO. Um yep. there's still a, a possibility though that it could be Ursus still floating around. Hopefully Apollo has some interrupts that he can cycle here to set up a good duel. Yeah. He has Natural a sonic bombardment moves. on the bottom. That's a that's okay. Is this a duel? Blind dueling. I'm not sure about that one. What timing was that? Is that in large force turn? Activate. Maybe activate phase. He can only duel during his turn. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's just an yeah. odd time to, yeah. to do it. Especially since he knew he had the Sonic on the bottom. Like, you figure you do whatever, and then you have a 4x. Yeah, pretty sure he has a Master Lumen hand, too, that he could have just cycled yeah. and then used to duel. Yeah. Okay, so we see you paying three to drain. Okay, that's good. Maybe he should have retrieved the Masterful on top first to set up the duel for next turn. There you go. Well, 
Well, I guess it doesn't matter yeah. where it is, as long as you know. Yeah, I guess you're right. Unless yeah. you want to drop for Destiny. So only one drain, and it looks like IG. Not sure what IG is going to do. I guess he's just moving Kylo back. Oh, he yeah. battled. Okay. <laughs> so here's the react. Yeah. I thought maybe battling with IG because you get two destinies. Maybe you clear. I was thinking he was just going to move Kylo back over and yeah, try to at least stay alive on the ground. Or you fight with IG and then you fight Ray. I mean, either way, the he's adding four to power from just space alone. So I mean, he probably doesn't have that many destinies to play with. He just lost one for. He lost a for his power. So we'll see yep. if Largeborg remembers. Wedge. Yeah. I was not drawing great. Doesn't look like he remembers. Hopefully he remembers the, the power bonus, the, the Hoth bonus. Either way, I mean, it's no overflow here. I can understand battling with first strike. But a but it does take him off battle plan. I don't know how yeah. relevant that is, but... Yeah, I mean, paying six. Paying six to drain six. Yep. Kills Ray. Oh, maybe kills Luke. Maybe he'll play another Luke from hand. It would have been nice if that IG was a character with ability, so he could pull resistance. Yeah. I could have seen a potential play where he fights with IG and then and then fights with Ray against Ray and... Maybe make some stack occur. Ooh, this Possibly. is Walker sighting. That's to retrieve. To yeah, Paul doesn't three, have yeah. secret plans out. That's yeah, that's brutal. Yeah. I, did he I, grab it? I hope. Did he? I hope so. Is that once per game? No, it's not once per game. Wow. And you can pull it with Luke. Wow, that's good. Yeah, I think Apollo could be using his shields a little more. I mean, just seeing Walkling out before you pull secret plans, probably. I don't think he needs that many other shields in this matchup. Crossfire, like we talked about. I think not playing his shields is like, um, it's just the, the free benefits. Yep. Yeah, code clearance is what uh, Jared is saying in chat. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, Paul still has a big hand, still has cards to lose, but it's not doing enough steady damage. So looks like he only paid to drain, like paid for one drain. Or is he paying now? Yeah, he's paying for the other. Yeah. So it looks like red five is coming down, possibly. I think that's Cornhorn in. Cornhorn, okay. Whatever ship he's piloting. Yeah. Gotcha. Rogue Nine, Corn Horde and Rogue Nine. I never understood that. Like, it doesn't work with X-wing guns. It's just, and it's a, just a big ship, I guess. That's one of those cards I, I always like want to play, but I never, I never play. It's just so expensive. Why does it and have to be five force? It's a one. Yeah, it's a one. Yeah. Like right, just compare so, that with Han Chewie Falcon. Oh, totally. <laughs> yeah, it's like from a different epoch. Yep. <laughs> All right, Paul's gonna land a. Wow, he keeps drawing at five. So it's so what six to six to six looks like. So it looks like he did not grab Walker sighting, which he grabbed something. He did grab something. It's possible there are two Walker sightings. So it looks like. Oh, one that duel. So the ship must have been a two destiny ship. Okay. That's some damage. That's good. It's free damage. So like right now, if he had grabbed, if he had retrieved Masterful Move the turn before, he could be he could be killing the ship. Or he can keep killing both guys, possibly. On the speeder. Yeah. Yeah. 
I said something I learned from Justin Desai, who does he does a good job of like retrieving and managing the like tracking the cards he retrieves. Like he abuses like I watched him abuse Luke's hunting rifle. The like little things like that I think can add I mean they can add up to big advantage, especially throughout the later part of the game when you can just activate down to your retrieved card. Yes. Yep. Looks like he uh Borg lost a combined fleet action. So if I was making him making him uh lose cards, he doesn't have that many cards left. Porg looks like he has maybe ten in life force, maybe five, five in hand. It's close. But I think not having space is uh I don't think he drained at the horse marker. <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> Yeah, IG's uh IG does not does not block your hands. And Apollo <laughs> lost Colonel Jenden in hand. I don't know why. That's like his one avenue. Well, I guess I have got closed That's off right, right now. now. It's still pretty close yeah. though. Looks it like is pretty close. Apollo has enough life force to drain for two he, turns. I think he needs to he needs to activate down to Oh, okay, three. No, he... okay, well, here's the duel, so... So you, you duel, and then you activate to three-force, yeah. right? That's the play, and then you top deck, you fight with IG, and you hope you draw big and and make Porg pay. I think that's, like, his, <laughs> his only chance of... of winning. It's temporary, but it... It forces... Okay. If... Forces Porg to like land a ship if he can knock out the speeder. Well, that's not happening because he activated everything. So yeah, just play it on training and retrieving. I don't think the math works out in Apollo's favor yeah. at this point. It's close. It's possible. I mean, it looks like what Porg has three left. I don't. Know. It's hard to say. It looks like he has a hand. Yeah, I definitely. It looks like he did that... grab. I do think that Apollo could have won this game had he not gone to hot with Zuckus. Yeah, that extra turn that he gave Porg is tough. He grabbed Walker sighting because he could tell it, see on the other camera angle. Okay, good. It could be worse. Still, might be floating. Other Walker sighting might still be in. I mean, it's is it over? I don't know. I don't even know. I don't think he retrieved Erica. I think that's big. This game's a, a game of, of little things. Well, he's about to take, what, 9 plus 2, 11 damage here? Yeah. Save 2 to duel, Paul. No, he's not. Yeah. He can't duel with no deck. Don't know why you're saving a force pile. Yeah, I agree. Do you, guys, do you guys get together after tournaments and talk about this stuff? Uh, we don't really. We, I've, they've been playing a lot of chess, and so we've been trying. I've been trying to get them to do that with chess because that's like the best way to learn, right? Is to is to see what decision in the fork, you know, went the wrong way. But uh, yeah, we need to do that more. But I thought that was a good a good game on both sides. It was closer than I thought. A little bit interactive. Do we know who won this game? I don't. <laughs> I feel like that was a drain for t for who Apollo won large forks life yeah. force. Benji just told me that Apollo won. So yeah, <laughs> exciting, very exciting. Wow, that's well, incredible. That's great. So uh, yeah, wow, that, was that game. That's awesome. I'm gonna go decamp a little bit uh, and see. We'll have a little a little chat and. Tell him never to fight at Haven ever again. And uh, <laughs> I'll be back uh, for game two. Awesome. Yep, uh, I will also be back. <laughs> Sounds we'll good. We'll see you guys in a few. Yep, bye.